Good morning everyone and welcome back. I am back on deck now. I've just had the last week off over at the beach which was really nice. It was nice to sort of just sort of wind down and relax for a bit. There weren't many sleep-ins. The kids had a habit of getting up really early but however it's a bit of a dreary day here today and it seems like it's always like this <laughs> on video but it has actually been quite nice over the last week. I'm just at one of the herds here and I'm going to put these girls on the feed pad. It's actually supposed to get really bad at about 11 or 12 o'clock today. We're supposed to get quite a bit of rain. So I'm going to whack them on the feed pad. They can probably stay in there for most of the day and I'll probably come and look at putting them back on grass tonight just to try and save it a little bit. Like you can see it is sort of pugging up at the moment. That's the problem running them on the feed pad during the day is that you do make a little bit more of a mess but I'd rather do it like that than feed maize in the paddock because you get serious wastage doing that. I think they say up to about 20 or 30 percent you lose feeding maize in the paddock which is a lot so I don't want to do that. I put them in here a couple of nights ago and they made way more of a mess than I thought they were going to. It did rain a little bit but it wasn't much. Maybe I'll go and sprinkle a bit of grass seed around because it does look a little bit worse for wear doesn't it? Especially sort of up here in this gateway which is always the worst place but it is typically quite wet along this edge of the paddock. It's not quite so bad down there. That's where they're going to go tonight. But yeah, hopefully it's alright. I think there's about 108 cows in this herd. I did roughly count them the other day. They haven't actually had maize and PK before but as you can see this is their third day and they're, they're getting into it big time so they like it. But they're getting most of their feed on the paddle and the bins. Today I've given them 8 kilos, yesterday it was 7, so they're getting most of it. I just did them a little bit more today because when they do go back out onto grass later, I'm not going to leave them in here overnight, but when they go back out onto grass, they hopefully won't make too much of a mess. Well, 10 actually maintenance and we're trying to put weight on them, so they, they'll be getting about 12 kilos a day at the moment, but it's just the leftover feed that we had, so we might as well put it into them. We do want to sort of put a little bit of weight on them before calving, and now's the time to do it. It's starting to rain now, but that herd's done, so we'll go and do another one. I'm not sure where Dad was, I did try and ring him before, but he must have already been out. He was going to do the heifers, because we're actually teat sealing them later on, so they'll be in the shed while it's pouring with rain, which isn't probably bad either, because they won't be making a mess. But we're going to do the last herd, he should have shifted the heifers by now, I'd say. Change of plans already, I've just had a phone call from Melissa, she just rung up to say teat ceilings not very, well it's not the best to do it in the rain because you do sort of open the teat ends when you put the stuff in I guess and there's more risk of them picking mastitis up from it so we are putting it off, we're actually going to do it on Thursday, today is Monday but apart from this weather that is coming in today it actually looks like the weather might be alright for sort of the next week so Booked it in for Thursday, I've also got Bianca here, which you'll meet then, she is from a school in Hamilton and she's just trying out daring for a little bit, so she'll be here to give us a hand, which will actually be quite good having another person on deck. These girls might make a little bit of a mess because it's a bit of a pain, I've got to put them over down here, the reel's at the bottom of this hill, which isn't the best spot to have it because they make a mess when they, when they come down here, but I've given them quite a big break today to allow for this sort of weather and I'll feed out a bale as well. I could have put them in this top break but I thought they'd make more of a mess whereas down the bottom at least it's flat. So they'll go there today and then there tomorrow and then I need to find a new paddock for them. One thing I did want to do was trim all the cows tails before we dried them off and I didn't get round to that, we sort of dried them off sooner than we imagined so didn't get a chance but I've really only got this week because mum and dad are off on holiday on Thursday, no Friday, they're off on Friday for three weeks over to Spain and Morocco, they actually had it booked for before Covid hit and it got cancelled and they couldn't get a refund so they're doing it now. So I was thinking I might just run the, the cows up to the shed because they're in sort of two smaller herds now like all the coals and the empties they're all gone, it's going to be pretty easy and 
sort of just check them through for any any sort of sick cows or any cows that don't look sort of 100% right. Look, all these cows are. I left the brake open. I didn't put the fence up, and all the cows are coming back out. I want their silage. Yummy, yummy. I haven't got too long to do it, but I was just thinking that if they're there today and then they'll be there tomorrow, they're right next to the race. So I could just run them up Wednesday morning. It's supposed to be a ride on Wednesday. So I could just run them to the shed, give them all a quick check over. That'd be the easiest thing to do. Dad's here, so that's. That's a good help. These girls are right. That's another mob down. I've given them quite a bit of grass today. I've given them a good break, so they should be pretty happy. That's all the animals fed, so that's the essential jobs out of the way. But while I was away, or before I actually went away, I got the digger just before it got loaded up on the truck to pull all this roofing iron. This was off the old cow shed. It was sitting out in the middle of the paddock there by the trough, so he grabbed it with the, the thumb on the digger, made it pretty easy, and put it right here next to the fence. So we actually had a metal recycler come in with his truck. He came to pick it up last week while I was away, but he turned up and he said, oh no, there's way more here than I thought. So he's going to come back with a bigger truck and grab it. He's got a big sort of um, claw on it, I guess you'd say, like a hire with a claw and he'll be able to sort of grab it from just over the fence there because he wouldn't have been able to get in the paddock. And we also had all of this big pile of sort of rubbish as well that was on the cow shed yard in there. It sort of came out of the cow shed and dad and mum pulled it out, put it here in the tank of track so he should be able to grab that as well. And that'll sort of tidy it up. Dad's, dad's tidied up all sort of the area through here. There were those cull cows that were were here while I was away, so he's grazed them in here, grazed all the grass down. It's actually looking looking really good now. There's also this front end loader. This is off the, the Keenan tractor. I think it's a 574. I'm not too sure on what numbers they are, but that was the front end loader on it. I'm never going to use it. Like, it's a, it's an old loader. It's handy. It still does work, so maybe, maybe I'll try and list that on Trade Me, see if anybody buys it. Like, it won't be worth much, but might be useful for someone. I'm actually heading in to have a coffee now for breakfast, so I might have a look on Trade Me. That's our local, I guess, selling platform and see if there's any for sale on there. And if there is, I might list it. Otherwise, it can just go in the truck as well. Just shot up to make sure these girls had been shifted. I hadn't heard from Dad, so just double check. But they're actually on this annual that I under, under sewed and it's actually looking pretty good. These girls have got a pretty big break today. I did think I was going to be teat sealing, so my plan was to sort of bring them out at lunchtime and then maybe put them back into that paddock because of the rain, but I might just give them another break this afternoon and they'll be sweet. Like there are some trees and a hedge over there which they might stand around. Well, these girls are looking real good. Look at this one. Beautiful. Hey, number 13. Actually real good nick, so it's good. Ah, I love a good coffee. There's a big shower that came through and it was actually quite heavy. It's sort of like cleared now though, which is nice, but looking through there, like there's actually blue sky. Well, a little bit of blue sky up there. Well, that's actually quite good timing. Dad must have given them a ring. Oh, that is a cool, cool high ab.
He's obviously been doing it for a while. He's pretty good on that on that crane. But it's quite cool this back door, like it's just a hinge back door. It's hinged way up the top there, just off the top. And then it's also got hinges through here. So the only thing holding it on at the bottom is just the traps. And then they must just tip the trailer right up. Maybe I'm sure, oh, I don't even know if it's a tipper trailer. Doesn't look like it is. Maybe it does, have to. And then everything just slides straight out the back door. Well, that's a good load. Jamming it in. Thought I'd just come and have a little look and see how these girls are getting on. There's still a little bit of maize, PK in the bunker here. So I will just leave them in here for a few more hours. They can sort of just clean this up. Actually feels quite settled at the moment. Like after that last lot of rain while I was having breakfast, there sort of hasn't been any since and the wind's like died right back down. Doesn't sort of feel like it's gonna rain. There is a little bit of like dark stuff over there, but apart from that, it's sort of like clearing. So hopefully, hopefully that's all, all we're gonna get, which would be really nice. All done, much tidier, a lot cleaner. Be pretty hard to turn this thing, like you can see where the, the fifth wheel is. It's pretty long. Although it would be pretty handy because you can screw it right around, I suppose. Well that's tidied everything up pretty pretty good. Looks a lot better now, doesn't it? It certainly does. So what happens that you pay for the hireage for the truck? Yeah, I presume so. So and he reckoned there's three or four ton in there, so depending on what the price of scrap there. is, probably nothing. So we mightn't get anything out of it. <laughs> we might have to pay pay <laughs> them to come and take it away. It wasn't real heavy stuff, so. Oh, it's tidied it up. Look at that now. Yeah, exactly. Didn't your mother and I do a good job? Look at that yard there. It's tidy as. Yeah, just, uh, we've got to take all that stainless steel over now. You, you've already taken some stainless over? Yep. There's blue sky up there, and the sun was out before, so not a bad afternoon. Thought I'll let these girls go, so it's about 3.30, they've been on there most of the day. Nice and full. I probably should have put them on maybe a little bit of a hilly paddock where it's not quite so wet because these paddocks can hold a little bit. But that new grass over there, that's probably almost ready to be grazed, but I didn't really want to muck that up, so I'm sort of, yeah, going to wait till the weather's a little bit better, but they should be alright, like there's a, there's a big break in there for them. And they're well fed, so they shouldn't be walking up and down fence lines too much, that's what makes a lot of it, but I don't know, guess we'll find out in the morning. Dad shifted those heifers at about 11.30 I think it was, so he did it pretty early, which isn't a bad thing, and I was thinking about moving them on, or out of that annual tonight, but I might just leave them, like we haven't had that much rain today at all, probably not even 10 mils, I had a mate down Tagara, he actually sent me a message, they had a river running through their farm, they had 60 mils and an hour and a half or, or something of the like, so it's, it's been pretty wet around us, but yeah, we seem to have missed, missed most of it, maybe prong here sort of soaked it up, but yeah, I don't know, I'll just leave them I think, I don't think they're going to be too bad. Pretty unusual sort of cloud formation, it almost looked like there was like a bit of a tornado spout, well not a tornado, we didn't get them here in New Zealand, but sort of something like that. Just see that little cloud at the bottom just moving so much. Unusual. Oh, it looks so good now that all that scrap metal's gone. It's just those couple of bits of stainless here, which we'll take over at some point, and a little bit of copper. But it's hard case, all those cows. I've just moved them. Well, not long ago, an hour ago, I moved them maybe. Maybe a little bit long. They're just standing in the corner like they want more. You girls have been fed pretty well today. But grass is always greener, I guess. Although now that this yard looks quite bare, it is made me sort of think, what can we do with this big area? Because it is pretty massive, like that backing gate down there, we actually use the yard on the other side, or we can push the gate that way a little bit, and that's what we use for the loading bay. But all the stuff, so all this concrete from through there, all these rails, there's an old foot bath just straight there where the cows would have walk through and or on the way out of the shed and then this was the other exit race down there so that's where they used to walk and I think that might have been like a drenching race or young stock race I don't know and maybe the outside was for a person it was definitely a homemade job 
but all that stuff can pretty much come out and it's all concreted which is pretty handy I was kind of thinking if we're going to rip all that out we might as well just rip the concrete up and turn it into grass maybe to put it back into the paddock but I don't know it seems like a bit of a shame to rip up concrete I know we did with the with the shed the old cow shed that was there but I think we've got a way better product now with, with that new pole barn than we did with the old cow shed like we possibly could have done something but I think yeah we're, we're way better off now but I was kind of thinking well maybe it's probably not a bad area because if you go straight out here you're onto this yard in here so maybe what we should be doing is cutting out this bit of fence so way back by the tank there rip all this out it's pretty much just number eight wire now anyway that's most of them are broken here so that's not hard to to get rid of that it's just cutting these off at ground level which probably wouldn't take much and putting a stop so so this gate can't come up more it would be nice having a facilities for stock down here um, maybe with like a head bale or something we could be doing like the collaring of heifers in this yard than, than up at the cow shed because we've got a lot of room up there and it's kind of a flat area down here so it's possibly easier to work with and we've got the space it's not like we're, we're pushed for space down here but maybe pull all that out and then we've got sort of like a driveway from out there into here and maybe turn it into bit of a wash wash down bay because all the water goes into the, the pond down there which we are planning to use as irrigation or the pond's actually been cleaned so there's effluent not going in there it's just sort of water off the yard at the moment it's probably not a bad idea like we have got power right there in that shed just keep a water blast around here and then we can sort of fill up sprayers or wash sprayers out or clean clean vehicles something like that I think it's probably not a bad idea it is just such a such a wasted space at the moment. We might as well do do something with it, I think. But I don't know. I haven't put it to Dad yet. Maybe he might have an idea. It's just I don't know. Something I've been thinking about. Would be nice though having a, a an area we can wash all the all the machinery. And it all lives down here, so it's probably probably quite a good place to to have it really. However, if you guys got any good ideas or different ideas, throw them at me. I'll be interested to to hear them. But it is getting on now, but it's actually quite nice to be back on the farm from holiday. It's nice to get back and, and doing things again. It was nice away, but it's, it's definitely nice to come home again too. It's getting darker though. It must be almost dinner time. I eat pretty early with the kids. But however, give it a thumbs up. That'd be awesome. And apart from that, see you next time.